a very good morning to all of you welcome to this class of science dear students today we are going to learn something very interesting in an interactive way i hope that you will love to learn this nutrition in plants what do you notice what are they doing yes all are having their food as we know that food is essential for all living organisms but why why food is essential for all living organisms let's find out food provides energy to all living organisms for various activities that they do in their daily life food enables all living organisms to build their bodies as well as to grow food enables living organisms to repair damaged parts of the body do you remember the various components of food we have studied them in 6th class let's recall their names carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals the components of food are known as nutrients so we can say that carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals are called nutrients the uptake of nutrients and its utilization by the body is called nutrition here a word utilization is used which means effective use of something when we eat nutritious food that is food rich in nutrients and our body use it effectively this process is called nutrition now can you tell me is the process of nutrition in all living organism same or different i want to know this let's find out think of a plant or a tree they cannot move from one place to another but food is essential for them also because they have to do various activities as they cannot go here or there in search of food they prepare their own food the mode of nutrition in which organisms make food themselves from simple substances is called autotrophic nutrition in this nutrition organisms 
synthesize their own food and what are those simple substances which are used for making food you have to find out and we will discuss it in our next class green plants are called autotrophs because they synthesize their food itself but why only green plants what about those plants who are not green we will also discuss about them in our next class think of an animal now they can move from one place to another they take food from plants directly or indirectly do you remember the terms herbivores and carnivores we have studied them in our earlier classes herbivores eat only plant products whereas carnivores eat other animals who are herbivores therefore all animals including humans depend on plants for their food the mode of nutrition in which organisms take in food prepared by plants is called heterotrophic nutrition in this nutrition organisms depend on plants for their food animals are called heterotrophs because they depend on plants directly or indirectly for their food let's see a video together for better understanding of this concept nutrition in plants nutrition in plants all the living organisms require food the organisms need to take food to obtain energy to obtain material for growth and to obtain materials for the repairs of damaged parts of body the process of taking food by an organism as well as the utilization of this food by the organism is called nutrition modes of nutrition all the organisms can be divided into two main groups one autotrophs two heterotrophs autotroph those organisms which can make food themselves from simple substances like carbon dioxide and water by the process of photosynthesis are called autotrophs and their mode of nutrition is called autotrophic for example green plants heterotroph those organisms which cannot make food themselves by the process of photosynthesis and take food from green plants or animals are called heterotrophs and their mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic all the non green plants and animals including human beings are heterotrophs it's time for you to note down key points in your notebook what have we learned today food is essential for all living organisms it enables organisms to build their bodies to grow to repair damaged parts of the body to provide energy for various activities the various components such as carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals that are present in food are called nutrients take of nutrients in food and its utilization by the body is called nutrition there 
are two modes of nutrition autotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition the mode of nutrition in which organisms make food themselves from simple substances is called autotrophic nutrition green plants are called autotrophs because they prepare their own food the mode of nutrition in which organisms take in food prepared by plants is called heterotrophic nutrition animals are called heterotrophs because they depend on plants for their food it's time to note down your home assignment question number 1 define nutrients question number 2 what do you understand by the term nutrition question number 3 what is the difference between autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition question number 4 why do organisms take food thank you and have a nice day